awkward phase in middle school, like living on the internet forever. This scars will never heal. That's what watching this back is like. In 2011, you probably at some point made fun of this song, Friday by Rebecca Black. And then you probably moved on. I was 13. I brought my friends all in it and we spent a day shooting it at my house. It was so much fun. <laughs> so funny to watch back. I don't know if I'll ever quite understand what caused like the intense reaction that this song got. To have so many people say almost anything that you could have ever imagined to me at such a young age, everything that I thought about myself went out the window. The song is still the fifth most disliked video of all time. And a few months afterwards, I went into homeschool. Today, if someone goes viral, accidentally, let's say, there are analytics companies and businesses monitoring this in real time, so that as soon as someone starts going viral, recruiters from major influencer companies immediately start reaching out. Correct. Yep. That happens every single day. That's a whole business trying to reach out to those creators before the competition. They offer anti-bullying resources and coaching too. We have a, a floor dedicated to talent managers who um, work with how to deal with bullying. In 2011, when Friday came out, the level of bullying that Rebecca received was almost unprecedented. There were other young people who'd gone viral, but she had to deal with it on her own. I'm gonna be responding to hate comments. You are an ugly, untalented, fat <laughs> The reality was, there was no way that I could tell myself that it didn't bother me. Hey guys, it's Rebecca. I'm here, let me wait for this plane. But Rebecca kept going with YouTube. I decided to try out vlogging. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. I find myself to be the most me when I just sit down and chat. I will see you guys next week. <laughs> it's not that all of a sudden all the hate comments went away. No, not at all. Um, but I was able to at least like shift my attention from, oh my God, YouTube is this horrible, scary, dark place to people use this as a place to find something good, to create something good. This fall, Full Screen took Rebecca on tour, along with two other YouTube stars, to talk about bullying and acceptance, and take thousands of selfies with their fans. Not that everyone is going to have a viral experience or, or have a huge video or whatever you want to call it, but bullying exists everywhere. And even now, like, now that I'm, I try to just be a little bit more honest with myself, you know, when, whenever anyone says any, it, 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 it's a difficult thing to explain. I think the only thing, I, the only way I could end that is to say that, yeah, I, nowadays I just try to be a bit more honest with myself. And if something hurts, it's easier to let it hurt for a few minutes or for a day than to like collect all of those days or those minutes and put them in a pool and then deal with them later.